Welcome back to the fourth part of this series where I see if I can beat Final Fantasy X-2 using the worst dress sphere combinations. And oh boy, you are in for a treat this episode because this chapter is very short, it's very story heavy, and there's a lot of crazy stuff that happens. And our story starts here with Pain, where we are finally learning a bit about her backstory. She has been with us the entire game, and the game is nearly over. This is the second from last chapter, and we're only now finding out about her past. So the story is that she used to be friends with Nuge and Barali and Gipple, and they were all a squad in like the Crusaders, and then there was an accident where everybody died and then they went their separate ways and never spoke about it again. And it's a shame that we only get this disposition now. Payne has been in our party for so long and she's got a very cool design, like I love Payne's design. She wears some of the cooler outfits in my opinion, of all the dress spheres. But her story is just so weak, we really don't get much from her. And I get that she's a bit more quiet and a bit dark and moody. But even when she's telling us this story it's just like, okay is that it? I would much rather they show some of her story rather than just tell us. And the story doesn't really make much sense. She says there's an accident where everyone dies and whenever you ask her what happens, she says nobody got any answers, nobody knew what happened, none of us ever spoke about it. People died and then we moved on and we haven't spoken since. So it's like she has no idea what the story is, nobody else knows what the story is, we just know something happened. And I think there was such a missed opportunity there. I don't understand why we didn't find out this towards the beginning. You know? Like, why wait until now to tell us this? She's been in our party for this entire time, and she's like supposed to be a friend of theirs. So why do we only find this information out now? And I just wish they developed her more. I wish there was more to her story. Maybe she could be connected somehow to, I don't know, Waka or Lulu or even Tidus. Have some sort of connection somewhere to just sort of like make it feel important that she's with us. Because it doesn't feel important. Yes, all these sub-characters that we've come to know, she's connected to them, yeah, but that's just not enough. I don't know, it's just like everyone else in this game who's in the Gull Wings has been part of the team since Final Fantasy X, and I just wish that she had a bigger connection to them, because it just kind of feels like she's tacked on as just like, oh, we needed like a goffy emo chick, so we'll make one, you know? And they didn't really think too much about who she is or why she's even there. That's just my rant on pain. I, I still think she looks cool, if anything, so... You know, there's that. Now, I think the reason this chapter is so short is because they expected us to use these comm spheres a lot more than I do. So basically, Shinra has been around Spirit and dropped these little spheres off and you can access his computer and view all of the spheres to see what's going on around the world. But it's just like, I don't care. Like, why did they implement this? Like, this whole game is about going to different places in Spira and seeing what's going on. So why do we need video footage at this point in the game of people when we can just fly there and see what they're up to? Like, we've been doing that the entire game. It makes no sense. Like, did they just want us to get more shots of people's... Like, am I just doing this so that I can have the thrill of being sat on Donna's bed and staring at a giant... I don't know. But, like, that's what it feels like. I, I, I don't understand what the point of this was and like maybe they just assumed people would be way more invested in this story but I I am just not. Every single chapter I have been to visit these people so why do I need to do this? Like I want to play the game, I want there to be more gameplay, I want to have more mini games or battles or like more dress spheres, something. Like don't give me this content. Like I... I know I'm sounding like unnecessarily angry for like a game that's supposed to be kind of silly. But like this must take up a lot of space on the disc, right? You know, they could have used this space to do something better. But instead they just thought it would be interesting to do something like this. And it's like, there's only so many times I can stare at Walker's without getting bored, you know? Like this is not fun for me. Are you sure about that? Whatever. The comm spheres are dumb. We only checked like a couple of them. And then we leave and go and do the rest of the mission. There's no side missions in this chapter, it's just main story stuff. So the comm spheres are all we are getting in terms of side content. So let's continue on with the story. Basically, Gipple and Barrelite and Nuge are still missing and there's the threat of Vegna Gun coming and destroying everyone. So they need to come up with a plan. The Goids need to think of something to do. So what can we do? What the heck are we supposed to do? All of Spira will be the captive of Yoon Singh. 
Oh my god, duh, like of course we're gonna throw another concert, like what else would we do? That seems to be the only solution these people could ever come up with. They're like incredibly powerful fighters and instead of fighting things they go, you know what? We just need to put on a concert because that's all Yuna can do. Yeah, she may have saved the world once with her incredible white magic skills, but nope, we're just gonna sing our way to victory because that always helps. I, I, I sh you not like this game, like what, what, what is this? Why is the solution to everything to throw a concert? It makes no sense. They never did this in Final Fantasy X. So why now do they always just think about throwing concerts? And it, it works. The annoying thing is it works. And it's actually a really cool scene when we get there. But like, why is this the solution they go with every single time? I feel like I'm losing my mind because it's just so ridiculous. And I love it. It's great that they do this. It's so hilarious. But I don't think it's supposed to be as funny as it is. But my god. We now need to prepare for the concert by going to the Moonflow and finding Tobley because Tobley has access to some instrumental things and I, I, I don't know, he can help us with the concert. We need help from the duck. We helped the duck earlier and now the duck is coming back to help us. And like, what concert would it be without a talking duck, you know? So yeah, but we're going to go track down the duck and uh, we have this fight here against some enemies in Moonflow. I'm just showing you this to fill in some content and show us how strong we are because uh, these fights ain't really much of a problem to us. We use Kogoro Freeze and it actually works. We froze the opponent so now we're just straight up chilling. He can't attack us. We're looking pretty strong and uh, the secondary effects that Yuna have on her Kogoro do actually come in handy quite a lot. It's a nice added bonus to the trainer class. I don't know how often you see enemies be frozen besides using the uh, stop command. Good boy! <laughs> okay. Rides a shoe puff. No, 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 that's not right. Everybody knows it's said like this. Rides a shoe puff. Also, where on earth did they get some of these voice actors from? I don't suppose he climbed out of one of them trees, do you? Like, why does he say it like that? That's so weird. Like, this chapter is making me lose my mind. I don't understand anything. Why did he say it like that? It's so weird. Oh, the duck fell out the tree. Of course the duck fell out the tree. We gotta go catch the duck now because he's running away. And, uh, and we soon catch him and then it is time to practice for the dance. So we have this little rehearsal with Riku. Oh, ooh, yeah, we're dancing. You know, press the buttons, press the buttons. Dance, 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 dance. And shots of crotch, shots of crotch. Dancing, 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 pressing buttons. Am I doing this right? Is this correct? This, this doesn't feel correct, but maybe it is correct. We're just pressing buttons, pressing buttons. Keep on pressing dances, la 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 We're dancing, 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 I'm gonna win, gonna win, gonna win, and we're gonna win, we're dancing, dancing, dancing all the time, gonna dance. Ah, high pillows in my face, dance, dance. 386, that's actually a very high score, and I literally just mashed every single button possible. But getting the high score is really good, because it gives us the schmoove shaling accessory. What? 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 What does that even mean? Okay. I really gotta let off some steam. Oh, oh, You're good. Are you just always away with the fairies? You can't even give me eye contact. Are you even listening to me now? Jam! Jam! Sorry, what? Do you think this is going smoothly? Sorry, can you can you say that again? I, I don't think I heard you. Do you think this is going smoothly? Are you saying smoothly? Is oh, that for one? God's sake! You never even listen to me! I'm so done with these stupid coffee dates! Wait. I don't even like girls. The smooth shaling accessory is actually perfect for pain. It's basically a ribbon, but with more immunities than the ribbon has. But the downside is it gives you slow. With the song stress, you kind of want to be slow because it means your dances last longer. So slow is not a debuff at all. And paired up with an accessory that gives her first strike, it just means we can always get a dance off straight away 
and it lasts for a long time. That's really cool because when the dance ends, we can immediately use another dance. So the slow never really affects us, which is awesome. This, this accessory was kind of made for the songstress, which makes sense because you get it dressed as the songstress while you're doing a dance challenge thing. But what are you gonna sing? Um... <laughs> She's really good. Now we are ready to head to the Thunder Plains to clear out some fiends so that we can host our concert. And we have this enemy here who does a ton of damage to us and we are barely doing anything to him. Like, you just saw there 100 damage from Yuna and like 30 from Riku. So, uh, this one's looking quite scary. And then Body Slam destroys pain and I'm like, okay, maybe he doesn't have that much health. But, you know, it, it, I'm sure it's, th th I'm sure this is just like seemingly harder than it actually is. So I give the fight a go. I'm like, what have I got to lose? I'm here. I try using Dirty Dancing because I'm like, we just need to get him dead quickly, I think. And then you'll see here, Holy Kogoro does 3,400 damage. So you can see how high his defenses are. Our regular attacks are doing barely anything. Like we have to use Dirty Dancing to get through this fight. And even then, like two Holy Kogoros haven't killed him. So I don't know how many it would take to actually kill him with a critical. And then Riku and Pain die. So I'm like, right, I'm just going to escape to save another game over. Boss battle time. And this guy hits like a truck. You can see there, 822 damage to Pain. Yikes. So before the fight has even begun, Pain is just dead straight away. I couldn't even get out a healing spell. I couldn't do anything. There was nothing in my power could have prevented that. So I'm like... Oh dear, this isn't going to be easy, is it? He has this flame breath attack, which does like nothing. It's just his physical hits that are really, really uh, scary. But I need to get Protect out. And I can't get Protect out because everyone keeps dying. But as soon as I have Protect out, I feel a little bit better. I know at least we can survive. And uh, uh, survive is a, a strong word. I put Shell on us just to negate some of that fire breath. But it is his physical hits that are doing the most. And again, he's getting so many attacks in so quickly. Like every time I'm trying to stabilize, it's just like, boom, I'm down straight away. I and mean, you need to be very quick and you need to be lucky as well. You need Riku to just sort of start off with a full ATB gauge using Protect. I'm starting to realize that perhaps my uh, accessories aren't the best. At this stage in the game, it just feels like we are dying too easily. And it's mainly just because of Riku's ring um, accessory. The ring is super handy, but the HP being as low as it is and the defenses being as low as it is, the enemies are just too strong at this stage in the game for an accessory that's so bad defensively. Glad to see my dog is happy that we died, but I am not happy because it means we have to try this again and go through the dungeon all over again. And the dungeon isn't too hard, but once again, my dog just loves to run into nothing. Oh, I love this class. Trainer is the best. Mm hmm. Yep. Great. Love that. So here we are trying the fight again. And I die again, of course. And, uh... It's around this stage where I'm like, okay, something needs to change. I'm going to mix around the accessories and I remove the ring accessory and replace it with the tarot card accessory, which just increases her magic. So we no longer have haste anymore, but we also don't have poison and our defenses also haven't been halved. But it also means we can't use black magic spells anymore, but I don't think we need to. I think it's okay that Yuna is our only damage source at the moment and we just need Pain and Riku to be there to support Yuna. I think that is the best way to go about it at this stage. I think early game I needed extra bits of damage, but now I just think we need to pump the hell out of Yuna, make sure she's super strong and just let the others protect her. I've, I've started to realize that a defense is the best offense. As soon as our defenses are covered, we are sitting pretty. So we have two classes that can sort out our defensive while Yuna just dishes out the damage. And once we have protect and shell on us and things like that, we can just heal with Riku and use dirty dancing for pain to get the maximum amount of utility out of everyone. A combination of Holy Kogoro, Dirty Dancing, and some powerful healing spells means that I'm feeling a little bit more confident. Regardless of that, it still hits like a truck and we still keep on dying. And Riku runs out of MP very quickly and uh, also HP very quickly because she keeps on dying. It's, uh, it's a problem. I feel like I'm supposed to be stronger than I am. Maybe I was supposed to be grinding in this chapter, but like I just haven't been. 
And I don't want to grind. I don't want to just grind for levels because that's boring, you know? And it kind of just takes the challenge out of it. I like to just see if I can breeze through the game and take on every challenge as it comes. Because like anyone can just grind levels. I feel like this game is possible if you just get to level 99 and use whatever class you want. But I want to see if I can just do the game normally using terrible classes. So um, that's why I don't grind too much. Again, we're having to use a lot of uh, resources just getting everyone alive again. And now Riku has run out of MP because I keep using full life because uh, there's just no point in using regular life. And the reason for that is that it just restores your HP to a very small amount and then you end up just dying straight away again. So at least with full life, it may cost a lot of MP, but it just means you're more likely to, you know, survive a turn or two. And it gives us enough time to get Protect out, because there's nothing more frustrating than bringing someone back to life, trying to heal them up, and then getting Protect on them, only for them to die in the middle of it and having to redo all of that again. So full life just ensures that we can do that. And we have enough ethers, so I'm not too mad about using them. I'm usually really stingy with my items, like I never use items, I'm just scared of running out of elixirs and mega elixirs. But in this run, I, I become a bit more, like, ruthless with it, and I decide to actually use them. Because for some reason, whenever I play these games, I just, like, hoard them. I'm just scared that, like, I'll need it in a desperate situation and not have it. But these are desperate situations. This is a hard boss battle. I can't get through it. So I should use whatever items I have necessary to get through it, right? I'm also casting regen on people, just as, like, a little bit of extra healing potential, you know, just to give people a little bit of a boost. Do as much as I can do to, uh, you know, ensure a victory. I'm also casting haste, so I don't have to use jitterbug. Pain is the one who keeps dying, unfortunately. Now that Riku's defenses are sorted, it's uh, pain that we need to worry about. Because she's being a pain. It's in her name. <gasps> Ooh, she rhymed. That was a rhyme. Didn't even mean to do that. I don't I don't write any of these when, I, when I'm speaking, by the way. This is all just me watching footage and just saying whatever comes to my mouth. To my mouth, to my brain, and then comes out of my mouth. Um... But you don't care about that, and no one, no one, no one cares. No one should care. I am obviously running out of things to say as we get towards the end of the fight here, but it's looking like it's probably going to be a victory. In fact, I know it's a victory because I've seen this footage before, and there it is. The final blow comes out. We are victorious. One thousand years ago, before the time of sin. Now everybody is gathered in the Zero Thunder Plains, which seems like a very dangerous place to gather lots of people. But, um, you know, regardless, that's that's where they chose to have the concert. And Yuna is giving a speech about how Spira used to be so divided thanks to war. And then Sin was born and we had to deal with Sin for so many years. And now Sin is gone and we're still in conflict with each other. Like, have we not learned from our mistakes? I honestly think Yuna should just be president. Like, what is there that she can't do? Does she? Why does she not just rule all of Spira? You know what I mean? She should be the one making decisions. She's the only person in this world who makes any sense, who has a clear mind, and has also like saved everybody's lives countless amount of times. And she's an incredible pop star singer. Like, hello, make her prime minister, or president, whatever, whatever they decide to choose in this game. But our hearts can and should always be one. I'll be honest though, this isn't the best speech ever. It's a little bit floaty and a bit fairy, you know, a little bit just like, we should all be together and let's all be friends again and love will always unite us. And it's a nice message, but like, she's just not being very um, poignant about it. She's using a, bit, using a bit of like airy fairy terminology. I don't know if that means anything to you guys, but it makes sense in my brain. And now we have, whoa, good graphics time, FMV. And I don't know if I'm allowed to play this scene because it's uh, probably copyright song. But this actually kind of slaps. I mean, the song is like, whatever. Like, it's not something I would listen to. It's nothing groundbreaking compared to some other Final Fantasy tracks that have used real vocals. This one is, is not very good. But it is so early 2000s, like everything about it just like in everybody in the Thunder Plains for this concert because it's quite a dangerous place. And it's because it just looks really cool in an FMV, like yeah, it's a cool setting to have a concert so that's why they wanted to do it. Who cares if everybody gets struck by lightning if it looks cool, right? And see it and they're in Zanakin now. Why are they in Zanakin? I don't know. And uh, oh oh, there's Vegnagan and her singing has the power to show everyone this, I suppose. It's probably not actually happening, it's all just... <laughs> Do you know what I mean? She looks like she's she's a mum, you know, she's, she's had some kids. There's just, oh, she just gives off like mum sense. I can suspend my disbelief for a bit of, you know, 
Gally Fun Time. The emotions when she sung has all come to her, all the floods of memories of Len. She lets out a little tear, and it's a really nice end to probably the most chaotic chapter of this entire game. Twas a magnificent melody, Lady Yuna. The onlookers yeah. were all. I don't care. Okay. I don't. I, I really don't give a fuck. Boys, we're going to the far plane. <laughs> You heard it right guys, next episode we will be heading into the far plane to save the boys, kill Vegnagun, and finish the game. It is the last chapter next episode, so uh, thank you for joining me on this crazy ride that it was this episode, and um, yeah, my name's been Jamsack, see you guys next time.